In this video, we're going to implement our DAO interface into a stub. And that stub's going to remain so that our other layers, the service and the UI layer, can work with each other and with the DAO layer while we are working on our actual database implementation. So we know that we can use mock objects and with a mock object we only need a, an interface and we use mock objects with unit testing. In this case we're going to create a stub which is just a dummy implementation of an interface that can be used kind of as a substitute uh, while we're working on the actual implementation. And with the niceties of dependency injection it's very easy to change the stub and the actual implementation once the implementation is ready provided th that the stub and the implementation share the same interface. So I'm going to start with my DAO and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say new and class. And we're going to call this plant DAO stub. Superclass is not important but the interface is so I'm going to add an interface of iPlant DAO. And we'll choose OK. Whoops. I think I added the wrong one. Uh, we'll remove that guy and just leave iPlant DAO, and I'm going to choose Finish. Okay, because I implemented Plant DAO, uh, I had to implement the two methods that are defined on Plant DAO, or actually more than two methods. Now remember, a stub just provides a dummy implementation, and we're lucky here because we already have a dummy implementation that we created earlier when we wrote one of our unit tests. We have our test plant service, and what that does is that has a method called, I'll just scroll down just a second here, construct plant list. And this construct plant list method just makes a hard coded list of four plants, four unique plants. This is all a stub needs to do, just pure Java. Uh, it doesn't need to have any true implementation details beyond just the pure Java. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow this, control C, and I'm going to alt left arrow, which takes me back in Eclipse history. And I am going to paste it. I know that top line was a comment I need to remove. Uh, paste. And we're good. And save. The other methods we'll worry about later. Right now we're just worried about fetch plants. Uh, okay. I'm also going to add the named attribute. I'm going to say at named. And then open paren. And we're going to say, we're going to call this plant DAO. And close paren and save. Uh, control shift O organize import so it can grab that named attribute. Uh, oh, sorry, don't need the semicolon. Uh, that's just tab it and save. Now we have this named as plant DAO. Uh, I'm going to control shift R and we're going to take a look at plant service. Now, why did I put plant DAO in quotes there? Well, I go to plant service and what we see is we have an inject here on uh, I plant DAO plant DAO. Let me line this back up again. And that named that we just did in our stub, named plant DAO, that's going to match it up to this attribute called plant DAO because uh, what you see, plant DAO stub, that doesn't exactly match this word plant DAO. So we have to do a little magic here and we have to name it. And I save. Okay, uh, one more thing we're going to do then is we're going to look at search plants. And that's our managed bean. And we're going to hook this search plants up to our plant service. So let's take a look. I'm going to say, I'm going to make an attribute for plant service. So I'm going to say at inject, just like we've done before. And I'm going to say private uh, iPlant service, plant service. And terminate with a semicolon and save. Control Shift O, organize imports. Notice again, I'm using dependency injection. Um, that's interesting. Uh, it ran my unit test there. Uh, control M, did I use the right name? Did we have an interface uh, in our service layer? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I plant service. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we'll go back, make sure I spelled it right. I plant service. Yeah. Control Shift O, organize imports, and then save. Looks like we're good. Maybe I just missed a save on that step. Okay, so we're injecting this, and hopefully with that saving now, my unit test is going to run again. Sure enough, you see I've added the JUnit flux nature, so my unit tests are running automatically as I save this. So, uh, okay, so we have the inject. So now what we have is a dependency from the UI to the service layer, and from the service layer to the DAO. 
with all of that, let's go in here and let's finally replace this hard-coded stuff we did with complete plants. Uh, I'm going to just delete and I'm going to say plant service dot fetch, or was it filter? We'll find out. Uh, filter plants and we'll pass the filter, the query filter straight on through. We did that several videos ago. I'll return what we get back from this uh, plant service and I'm going to save. Once again, the unit test run telling me I haven't done any regression errors. So what's going on here? The JSP has an autocomplete. The autocomplete is going to call this complete plants method. The complete plants method is going to call filter plants on plant service. Filter plants is something that we created several videos ago that's going to call fetch plants on our plant DAO. That's going to return a list of plants, and then we are going to filter that plants by the filter text. Now, what's the source of the filter text? It's what the user is typing uh, when the user is typing out uh, when the user is typing in an autocomplete. What's our get date? What's our DAO? Well, let's take a look. Uh, our DAO is the plant DAO stub that we made earlier. Okay, so I save, and let's build and run. Okay, I'll pause the video as I do my Maven install and then I restart the server. That'll take just a few moments. Now my application has started. Let's take a look at the uh, results. So I go to plant places and, and watch as I type in PAW. You see I get Paul Paul. Now I'm going to type in R E D and take a look. I get Red Bud. So what's neat is that these are the plants that we just hard-coded in our little fetch plants method. Uh, and this way, we, we see that the different layers UI service and DAO can work together before they're complete. So one team member on UI, one team member on service, another team member on DAO. With interfaces, with stubs, with annotations, it's easy for everybody to work together. Let's go ahead, just test out my theory here, make sure I'm not making this up. Let's go ahead and add one more. We're going to say uh, Quercus. We're going to make this one an oak. And we're going to say Quercus, and then Rubra, and we're going to call that one Red Oak. Okay, and we're going to, of course, we'll call the variable name Red Oak, but the variable name is uh, not really important. Red Oak, and Oak, and just a couple more Oak, Oak. What I'm expecting now. I'm going to save and I'm going to rebuild. What I'm expecting now is that when I run, when I redeploy the website uh, and I type in red, instead of just getting red bud and red maple, uh, I'm expecting that I will also get uh, red oak. Let's see, that might have hot swapped. Let's press our look here. That looks like it didn't hot swap. So I'll go ahead and, and rebuild and redeploy. I'll pause the recording for just a moment. And at this point, our page is loaded. Let me go ahead and clear out. Uh, Paul, Paul, there we go. Now I'm going to type in red, R, E, D, and take a look. There's our Quercus rubra. Don't worry about the null. That's the cultivar. That's easy to clean out of there. But nonetheless, you see that by changing my DAO layer, we're able to see that reflection all the way up in the UI layer. I type in red. I get in red maple, red oak, and red bud. I can keep typing, get red bud, or I can say red oak like so, and I'll just get red oak. So uh, at this point, I'm confident that we can easily swap out our DAO layer with the true database and everything else will be fine. We're not going to have to touch the service layer or the UI layer. Uh, as soon as we swap out the DAO with the true database, with the true database connection, it will be reflected in our UR, UI. I'm excited. So that wraps us up for this video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next. Thank you.